Uh, this is fascinating. Uh, Michael Jordan, it was announced today. They announced shoe sales. Forbes magazine did shoe sales. Michael Jordan's been out of the NBA for 16 years. Sold $130 million. He made that much in annual income on shoe sales last year. LeBron, $32 million. Kevin Durant, 26 And Durant made more money in China than America. There's a lot of factors for this. Why Jordan is still five times more popular in terms of apparel sales than LeBron James. And he's been out of the sport for 16 years. One of them is Michael's game was more fun than LeBron James. Carl Malone was a great player. So was James Harden. Their games aren't that much fun. They're at the free throw line a lot. Michael's game was fun. The huge hands, hang time. It was artistic. The tongue, the hang time. I mean, I can think, I'm showing you some here, of a dozen iconic shots from MJ. His shots were memorable. LeBron's been playing for 16 years. He's got one of those. The block against Golden State pops right into my head. And that was a great play. Michael was more artistic. His game was more fun. Not all great players are fascinating watches. Kareem was not fascinating. He had one shot. Carl Malone, John Stockton, James Harden, I don't think are riveting watches. Westbrook is actually a riveting watch for all the criticism. Number two, and this is hard to quantify, but Michael Jordan was cool. Durant and LeBron sometimes feel like they're trying to be cool. Michael was just naturally the earrings, the body, the suit, the smile, the look, the way he walked. He had a cool walk. Like, you can't teach that and you can't fake that. Michael's game was more fun to watch and he was cool without trying. The other two things that are fairly remarkable about Michael Jordan, and people think I don't like Jordan, Michael was unbelievable, is that Michael, in an era where everybody has to rush to Twitter and tell you about what they had for lunch, Michael has largely disappeared. He doesn't hold press conferences. You see him sometimes in the suite at his game. He's got four and five guys he runs with, his boys, his guys, his wife. He's disappeared. There's not a more famous person in America that you see less of except on shoes and logos, than Michael Jordan. He has disproven or proven the fallacy that you don't have to rush to social media, show us every bikini shot, every chicken parm you had for dinner. If you're great, you're frozen in time. I still laugh harder at Johnny Carson clips on YouTube than any current host. The other thing Jordan has proven, there's a belief in media circles today, and the media is wrong, that everybody has to talk politics. If it's authentic to your brand, do it. But Tiger Woods doesn't, and he's the only logo in golf shops in America. I was told this morning that Dave Chappelle may be the most richest comedian this year. He just did a Netflix special, wouldn't talk politics. Tom Brady this morning was named the most popular brand in the NFL. He won't talk politics. And Michael wouldn't either. Doesn't mean you can't. Aaron Rodgers does. He's popular. Ali did. He was popular. But Michael Jordan's popularity is a lot of things. His game was amazing. He was cool without trying. And in my lifetime, I don't think there's been another person outside of President Ronald Reagan that was more Teflon. Michael quit the sport twice failed in baseball, has been an awful general manager and a so-so at best owner. <laughs> um, then ended up with the Wizards, who he couldn't even engineer to get into the playoffs, had a brutal Hall of Fame speech. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. The style, the cool, the logo that's international, he's effortlessly cool, and wildly entertaining, and he's disappeared, and he doesn't like politics, or at least won't talk about him. And so you don't have to rush to social media and show us what you ate for lunch, and you don't have to talk politics if you don't feel it's natural or authentic to your personality, and you can still, 16 years out of the game, be five times more popular than arguably the second-best basketball player in the history of the planet. LeBron James.
Joy with the news. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.